Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In case you guys haven't noticed, we sell quite a few car magnets. And in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to make those. And I'm gonna show you the tools and materials that we're gonna use. And first of all, you're gonna need a cutting board. Second, you're gonna need magnets. They have two kinds. The one that you're gonna see in this video are the ones without any background. So you have to add the background accordingly to whatever the customer wants it to be. And the one right here is the one with the white background. And both are the same brand, Magnum Magnetics. You're also gonna need some rapid tag and it comes in a huge gallon like this. So you're gonna need a spraying bottle, small one like this. And up here, we got a ruler, safety ruler. We use the Oracle 651 vinyl, outdoor use, and we got some tape. And this one is the Clear Choice AT75. Okay, my friends, we need to cut the magnets. We need two pairs. The first one's gotta be 16 by 24. And we gotta make, we gotta cut them a little bit bigger since we're gonna trim around the edges. We're just gonna do like 16 and a half, just to have plenty of room. Yeah, we're gonna use a box cutter. Yeah, you don't need any fancy equipment to cut it. Okay, that's good. Now we're just gonna put enough pressure Okay, our first one. Okay, we got all the tools ready, the rapid tag, and we're just gonna get rid of the backing paper. And just gonna cover the vinyl with plenty of that solution. Just make sure you don't pull too hard on the edges because uh, if you do that, you're gonna see where the tension was on the vinyl, and yeah, you don't want that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. Just gonna start from the center. And I use the uh, this part of the squeegee. I just don't wanna scratch the vinyl. And now we gotta do, trim the edges. Let me show you the back of it. And we gotta trim around it. Yeah, make sure you put enough pressure just like that. It's not really that hard to cut it and uh, it only takes enough pressure. That's why you need the cutting mat. Okay guys, we got all the magnets with the backgrounds. Now what I gotta do, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the vinyl. So let's go to the computer and the vinyl cutter. Okay guys, before you send the design to the vinyl cutter, make sure that you do this step if you don't wanna waste any vinyl. Make sure that you pull some of the vinyl to the front and try to align it with these little lines right here. And when you think it's good, I think we got it. Just lock it and then front edge setting one our sticker is not gonna be that big so we don't really have to worry about it if it moves a little bit but I think it's just perfect just the way it is okay time to weed out as usual we use some weeding boxes just to make it easier, as you already know. And I'm gonna start from here. Wait. Yeah, from here. That's the logo, right? Yeah. Okay. Be careful with the uh, registration marks. We got our registration marks up here to layer our second color. Okay, we finally got all the vinyls ready to put the tape on top of them. And uh, we're gonna use the Art Tape Clear Choice AT75.
And the good thing about this kind of tape, the art tape, is that you don't really get that many bubbles. Okay, we're ready to transfer the vinyl to the magnets. And we're gonna start with that. Just gonna use a piece of tape. Put it right here on top. All right, just like that. Okay, we're gonna do wet application. We're gonna use the rapid tag since this is a solid shape and we don't wanna end up with lots of bubbles. So let's go ahead and spray it. Okay, now let's try to remove the tape and see what happens. Uh, perfect. I don't see any bubbles so far. We may end up with just like one or two bubbles, but just to show you what the rapid tag can do. It works way better than water, to be honest with you guys. Okay, now we're gonna add the second color on top of the orange color. And we're gonna go ahead and cover it with this solution again with the rapid tag. All we gotta do is just align the registration marks. All right, we got it aligned and now I can do this. Now squeegee all the rapid tag out. We're gonna repeat the same steps. Cover it with plenty of rapid tag, just like that, and then align it. You can do one side first, align one side and then you can align the other one. Okay, now let's remove the last tape. Okay, now we can remove the registration marks. We don't need them. So this is how they look after you guys apply all the vinyl on top. I know it's a little bit of work, but it's worth it. You should definitely consider selling these items because they sell a lot. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and see you guys until the next video. See you later. <laughs>